Now before I start today's video I'd like to thank It's a Mess Looks Like a Bloody Quiff Haircut.com Or should I say I'd like to address this bit here This wasn't in my plans when I had my hair cut Now obviously it's a bit odd, I, the odd is the blue Not the bloody stupid all over the place quiffy bit I didn't ask for that when I had my hair cut to be perfectly honest with you if anyone's been asking It's just that it's, that's the way it is I didn't notice it when it was cut because it was so short when you cut it you couldn't tell But I won't be doing it again Next time I want to get rid of this 80s weird quiff horrible thing that doesn't look right Now weirdly and strangely enough last night I had a weird dream Where I was travelling through time And I met somebody singing who had a quiff And then I don't know things happened and part of the time travel I had to destroy Rubik's Cubes because if you didn't, they destroyed the world. Anyway, on with the video. Now there's very few things I miss about my last employer, specifically my last store. Um, there's a few things, a few people that were genuine, decent, nice people to work with, nice people I liked to get on with, miss them a bit. But mainly, the only things I miss are things I used to get, like freebies and cheap gifts or cheap electronics stuff that I've got that I got for nothing like a load of electronics and bits and bobs that didn't cost me anything at all and as I said loads of free gifts and stuff I used to get off manufacturers which you don't tend to get other places although I did get something a bit unusual the other day from a job fair I got a calendar at last which means I've now replaced my calendar for Christ knows how long I've been without one and I got a funny looking pill pen <laughs> which is quite nice there are things I just miss the gifts that used to get off customers. Things like bottles of wine. I mean, I don't generally drink wine, but I've got some beautiful bottles of wine from customers. As you can see, it's gathered dust, which wine's supposed to, because if you lay your wine down properly, put it somewhere nice, you can keep it for as long as you like. Well, I've got some bottles here that maybe I might crack open at some point, because I haven't found anybody I can give them to. And to be honest with you, maybe I'll give them a go, try them. I'm not generally a great wine drinker. I do like white sparkly wine. I like red sparkly wine and Matthias, things like that. Rosé is quite nice. But I used to get these wonderful gifts off customers just being, oh, thanks for doing that. And they'll give you really nice bottles of wine. You think, well, you can't really share it with your colleagues because you're not allowed to drink it at work. So, and nobody else wants it, I'll take it home. Beers and chocolates are things that I used to share with people. I always used to make a habit of, if somebody bought it in for me, it's part of a team. So I would give to my colleagues. Beers, especially, you couldn't drink them at work, but you could share them and they could all take them home with them. Chocolates and biscuits and things you would share there and then. Now, some of my other colleagues, the ones that maybe weren't so favourable, were the ones that would just be selfish and take them home for themselves and not do anything for their friends. But I don't believe that that's the right way to go about things. And something else I thought I might as well mention is I also replaced my chair. A year or two ago, I think it was, I did a video where I replaced the seat pad on my seat with an old shirt. One of my mum's old shirts she was chucking out, I managed to fix the seat, give myself a bit of a um, cover, but that's gone all to pot and the chair is completely rotten and falling apart now, so I've picked up a new chair. A bit regal looking, it's sort of got a sort of a gold finish to it, so the idea is it will last longer, because if it's come out of a baker's type sit-down cafe, the fabric on it is designed for work, so it means it will last and last and last and last, hopefully. And it's really comfortable, so I shall be sitting on a new chair when I'm upstairs doing these videos now. The wine was very nice actually, quite enjoyable. Not usually one for red wines on their own, but no, that was quite nice. And the chair, very comfortable. But carrying on with those freebie stuff and going on about getting gifts and things from work, sometimes you get some utter tat. Things like a Virgin fan, supposed to plug into your phone, plug it into the bottom of your phone or on top of your phone, wherever your charging port was, and it would cool you down, except for it doesn't work with any USB-C phones or Huawei's or anything like that, and um, yeah, it's a bit useless, really. But I've had stress balls and all sorts of other things and loads of pens and stuff like that, so plenty of normal stuff that you get. But also occasionally, got me thinking, you do pick up things that would be a bit out of the ordinary. You know, stuff that you wouldn't normally associate with your place of work, especially mine. Now, a couple of years ago, I did manage to rescue some rather strange bits, or three strange things, to be honest with you. These. This is a Scalectrix Rover SD1. But I also, at the same time as rescuing that, I rescued a Williams F1 car 
and a blue Tool F1 car. And these are quite old. These could be quite rare. I don't know. But I just thought, well, why not? They're going to get thrown away or scrapped anyway. So just rescue them just in case. They may come in handy one day. They're not all working. And I say that you can sell that just by looking at them. To get these things to work, you have these little contacts underneath. That one's got its contacts complete. This one is missing one. So one side it's missing the actual contact piece. And the same goes for the rover. The rover again, unfortunately, missing one on one side. But that can be easily fixed. You can buy this braided stuff. And as these are models, and they're made by a model company, the model company that make them obviously being scale electrics, also do airfix and other things. As with all model stuff, it comes apart and you can fix it. Mm -hmm. 